This is basically introducing the 350 XL from the Testo that's based in Germany. This instrument is used for stack gas testing. It's a semi-continuous unit. So basically that means that it runs semi-continuously in that it, it can do an overnight run, but then it's got rinse cycles cycled during the measurement. And basically this one is also used in optimization efficiency of boilers, furnaces and burners in the industry for process engineers for example so it's not just for fluid gas analysis and basically a total of six sensors can go into this instrument including oxygen, nitrogen, monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide and hydrocarbons such as methane, propane and butane all the sensors are electrochemical except for carbon dioxide which is infrared. The main one is the analyzer box and the control unit is the small one that's up here. To detach the control unit, just press the slide down on the bottom left and lift the control unit up. It can operate separately as a separate unit to measure humidity and differential pressure. And to put it back on, just make sure the groove on the back of the unit sits on the on the slides on the actual analyzer box and to fit the actual actual control unit onto that groove at the back and make sure you hear the click. The analyzer box contains the LED lights up the top to show you whether it's mains operation or whether it's using the rechargeable battery, whether there's any error, it will go, it will blink. If there's an error, it will blink red. And also, the analyzer box has the filters for the flue gas filters. It will discolor when it needs replacing. And this is for dilution. Basically, we have a condenser trap over here to trap out any water that goes through from the flue gas and to do a proper, proper emptying of the condensation trap just horizontally take out the condensate tra trap and from here let the, drain the water out inside the analyzer box there is a cooling system so any moisture will will come up into the condensate trap and on the condensate trap there are levels when the water level reaches the mark it has to be emptied but during the emptying the analyzer box has to be switched off here on the control unit the RS232 cable the socket is there the data bus and the flue gas probe and the differential pressure on the analyzer box the mains unit power plug is there the data bus the air rinse, the trigger for the alarm, and this is the ambient temperature for temperature to probe. This is the flue gas probe socket, and here is where the differential pressure socket is, as well as where the flue gas would go into from there. The back is where the sensors are. Basically, we have the carbon dioxide infrared sensor, the white one is the oxygen sensor and the black parts are just the heating elements to keep the sensor at a certain optimal temperature. The tubes are ABB design tubes, they are patented Testo designs. The black one is the nitrogen dioxide, the red one is the carbon monoxide with hydrogen compensation, the green one is the sulfur dioxide and the orange one is the nitrogen monoxide and on this side of the unit we have the air rinse inlet the air from the environment goes into there and it comes out through the two outlets there one and two this is the standard probe the at the end of the probe is where the thermocouple is which sits inside the circular cylinder you can see at the top and to make sure that's not bent or touching the thermocouple, the actual probe shaft when you're using it. This is the probe handle and the probe handle has the connections for the probe shaft and, 
and gas tubes and thermocouple line. And this is the connector for the gas tube. Basically, the gas, blue gas would go through the red socket here. The blue socket also is here for actual differential pressure for a piton tube if one wants to measure the differential pressure as well. And this is the thermocouple socket. Before starting the analyzer, it's better to put in the socket and put the actual probe onto the instrument so that it can be detected. And the thermocouple. The initiation screen was displayed and the data bus is scanned for connected system components. It's undergoing zeroing at the moment. Just to go through the LED lights, the top LED light here, the, if it's green and steady, then it's the mains operation. If it's green and flashing, then it's rechargeable battery operation is fully charged. And if it's red and flashing, it means the rechargeable battery operation is actually low. And if it's off, then battery recharging instrument is switched off. For LED light 2 number 2 here, if it's green and steady, it means that it's in measurement mode. If it's green and flashing, it means that it's fresh air and zeroing. And if it's red and flashing, it means that there's an error. So you'd have to go to the diagnostic and see what's wrong with the instrument. And for the third LED light here, if it's green and flashing, it means that the recharging battery is going for a rapid charge. If it's green and steady, then it means that the battery is fully charged. I'll go through the display unit. On the display here, you see on the top right hand corner is actually the page number. It says 01 slash 08, which means that it's on page 1, which is the actual screen which shows the parameters of what you're measuring. So at the moment it's got six parameters that's showing, including oxygen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen monoxide, NOx and sulfur dioxide. To go through each of the screen, one just have to press down, arrow down, to the next screen again, and it shows ambient temperature. The pump flow rate, carbon dioxide, oxygen reference numbers. So there's just six screen of parameters. The second box on the top right hand side is just the box number and the box location, the name of the box and also on the left hand side on the top it will show you what's happening if you're doing a measurement there will be icons to show you that it's running and doing a measurement program. The, the actual measurement to do a spot measurement one has to use the control function which is the bottom panel functions on the bottom here. It shows you four function keys. Basically to control those function keys, one just have to use these buttons, the blue buttons on the control instrument. And to scroll through and see what function parameters are available, there's the left and right key. So before you could see the print, diagnostic, air, no program. If you scroll through the function, there's the pump start, zeroing, 